The South Korean Army has set up an action plan to trial the Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle IFV, developed by Hanwha Defense. The tracked combat vehicle will return home in March after its successful tests and evaluations during 2021 in Australia as one of the two final candidates for Land 400 Phase 3. As per an official company statement, a Redback vehicle is to be handed over in April to an armored cavalry unit of the Republic of Korea ROC, Army for two months of trials at reviewing the Redback's advanced technologies and operational capabilities. The trials will be focused on the Redback's mobility, operability and maintainability, as the futuristic tracked IFV has successfully navigated the risk mitigation activity tests and evaluations conducted by the Australian Defence Force from February to October 2021. For mobility tests, the vehicle is set to be assessed on paved and unpaved roads with various driving skills, including pivot, obstacle clearance and night maneuvering with situational awareness equipment. Operability trials will include evaluation of situational awareness cameras, operation during hard barking, load space and the ergonomics of various seating configurations. Tactical operations of the auxiliary power unit and turret systems are also to be tested. To review the Redback's operational sustainability, the vehicle will also be assessed in various recovery situations. During trials, the Redback is also scheduled to demonstrate its off-board health and usage management system, HUMS, which monitors and diagnoses component faults in their early stages. The Redback is a new South Korean infantry fighting vehicle, IFV. It was developed by Hanwha Defense. It was specially designed to meet an Australian Army requirement. The chassis was rolled out in 2020 and this new IFV with turret was first publicly revealed in 2021. It is being proposed for Australian Army to replace the current fleet of M113AS4 armoured personnel carriers. The Redback competes with other contenders, such as the German Lynx, to meet the Australian Army requirements. It is the first time when the Australian Army will have a dedicated infantry fighting vehicle. Previously this country relied on armoured personnel carriers. Australian requirement is for up to 450 new IFVs. If selected for production the Redback will be produced in Australia. By 2021 a total of three prototypes were built. It was announced that in 2022 the Redback will be trialled by the South Korean military. The Redback is an advanced, well-armed and well-protected vehicle. It could be among the most protected IFVs in the world today. It weights a whooping 42T and could be classified as a heavy IFV. Armor of the Redback was developed in cooperation with Plasson. Hull and turret provide all-round protection from 30mm armor-piercing rounds. This tracked vehicle was designed from the start to survive mine blasts and improvised explosive devices. It withstands blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT anywhere under the hull or under any track location. Crew and passengers are seated on blast energy-absorbing seats. The Redback was also designed from the start to be fitted with Israeli Elbit's Iron Fist Active Protection System. It defeats incoming anti-tank rockets and missiles.